Hey everybody, Chad at Turner's Warehouse, and we're going to do a follow-up to yesterday's live stream. We're going to show you the blanks. We did show these off at the end of the live stream. These are the hybrids. We cast two turquoise. So you got the turquoise, and it's a very light amount of turquoise, but you can see how dark it is. And then we got the macro pearl. So this is stabilized pearl with macro pearl, just to give it a little color. That one we did paint some uh, chameleon flakes on. Pretty cool. And then this was the kind of the surprise cool one I thought was the interference violet mixed into the clear and the purple really shows up nicely against the burls. So those came out really good. And then in the pot we're going to open this up and we have our Beetlejuice blanks or Joker blanks depending on how you want to look at it. And we're pretty stoked because these we poured in a block and did the swirl, but we did some pen blank in the Maker Select pen blank mold, and they were looking really good. So as long as they didn't change too much, we were pretty, oh yeah. <laughs> I think we were going to be happy here. Now I didn't have my mold rack because I used it in the other one. Let's do this one first. So this is our block. This is our maker select mold. This is how easy these are to get out. So what you have to know is you need a little bit of space behind the block, right? So if I just pull the plug and hit it, about half the time they come out of the mold. But you can see there's not enough space there. But usually just giving them a little tap is enough space that they'll lift out. So by giving it a little tap on there, I just created a little space. Oh, we're gonna have to cut that up. That's gonna look cool. I think we're gonna get good swirls out of that. But let's be honest, this is the exciting one here. Now this is our pen blank mold, although it's hard to tell because I poured all over the place. But I was trying to get these vertical swirls. Oh man, look at that. Look how cool that looks. Because by going this way, I got the lines sideways to the pen. If I had gone this way, it'd be you know lengthwise. So same thing, give it a little tap, or I'm going to need a little more of a tap apparently, and it's better if you have a harder table. Oh yeah, that's what we're after. Now this is causing me trouble because somebody poured over, so it's all stuck together. So I need to do a little more. Almost got it. We got one stubborn one. So we can um, use a punch or, let's see here. That'll do it. There we go. I just had to give it a better wrap. It's, it's so shaky on the table here. Yeah, let's take a look at these. So the sides are what we're really looking at because that's what our swirl is going to look. And I want to point out from a block, the same exact colors, the same pouring, from a block when you cut this block sideways, you can see here, you get the swirls this direction. So the swirls are more lengthwise and they're more like ovular, where these are more layered. So by using a different mold from this to this, you get drastically different patterns in your block, if that makes sense. So you may wanna have one of each if you're trying to get multiple styles of swirls, or if you have a swirl pattern that you get in block mold, you probably wanna stick with the block mold because if you tried to do the same thing in here, you'd get a different pattern. Also in here, you don't have room to do drags and stuff, but that's good or bad depending on what you want. In this case, it's super good because it looks awesomely layered. So hope you enjoyed that. If you didn't see the live stream, it is on the channel here. You can go watch it from yesterday. There were two parts because we had a little snafu with the camera. Snafu the right word? A little whatever with yeah. the camera. So there are two parts. The last part is only like 10 minutes, but uh, good stuff. You're going to see more of this. We're going to turn some of these next week. Thanks for watching.